hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for dropping in. If you've been here before, thank you so, so much for coming back. So I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and this is not part of my traveling um, through Iowa Dollar Tree series. This is just, I needed <laughs> one item and so came back with more than one item. Anyway, um, so I've got a few things to show you and let's go ahead and get started. So this one is the Dollar Tree closest to my house and to be fair, it's not the greatest Dollar Tree and they've had some good employees there, uh, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe they finally had it and quit because I haven't seen them. Uh, they were all new people today and not the greatest. So anyway, I ended up spending $29.52. This is probably one of the smaller hauls that I have had. So um, let's start out with, I guess, some food. Went straight after work and of course I was starving and shouldn't have done that. But I picked up these. I haven't tried these before. Um, I think that's the back. <laughs> There's the front. But I have tried the one, let's see, they're the jalapeno cornbread ones. I hauled them, oh, I don't know, a week or so ago and tried those. They're actually pretty good. So we'll give these a try too. So I found a lot of really good um, fall decor, lots of really good stuff. So where to even start? Let's see, I found this. Um, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Thought that was super, super pretty. And anyway, what else did I find? Oh, I found this. Hello, Autumn. I thought this was really cute, too. Cute little pumpkin. So I grabbed that. And let me get this bag out here. Found these window clings. Let's see. These are all Autumn, too. And I don't know if... Um, I'm just not really sure that I would use these. I don't know, I might put some of them in the window at work, but um, really I will put them most likely in my junk journal. Um, so this, the back side is mostly just fall, but then the front side actually has Thanksgiving on it. So I thought that was cute. And I guess this is probably your uh, pumpkin spice coffee right there. Thought those were darling, so grab those. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I also saw these, and they had, I think, three, maybe four different styles, but this one was the one that I liked the best. And so this will go in my kitchen. Tabletop decor, really cute. I also found this one, cinnamon mold wine. Thought that was adorable too. So grab that and this, it says Halloween leather. And anyway, so it looks like this. And let's just see exactly what this is because I'm not sure. Let me just open this. Oh, it is, it does feel, how cool is that? So, hmm. Lots of possibilities here. This is almost like the perfect size cover for a small journal. Um, I knew I should have grabbed two of these. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Um, it does feel like kind of faux leather in the front and the back is felt, but this would make a really nice journal cover. You could also cut the images out and use those in a junk journal or for crafting too. Really nice and I knew I should have bought two. So I found these car stickers. I'm a NASCAR person and these would go nice in my junk journal, especially when something big is happening in NASCAR, you know, like the Daytona 500 or the season finale, which is coming up here in November. So I found these uh, fashion gems. Uh, they have super glue and they're really pretty. I go through these letters a lot put them in all sorts of things. They go in my planner, they go in junk journal. So that's kind of a restock for me. So, and I also found this, not sure how far back I'm gonna have to put that for you guys to be able to see that. But 
anyway, it's really cute. I thought this was adorable, and I'm going to hang this on the front of my house. And then this one, Home Sweet Haunted Home. Not sure if you can see that. But yeah, I thought that was really cute too. And let's see. Oh, I guess there's a bag in here. Okay, this is what I went to the store to get. Dishwashing liquid. <laughs> so I bought this. Came back with more than just this. Um, and then these were a restock, this beef stew. I bought three of these. And then in the plus section, I tell you what, I buy these very frequently. These are three dollars. Um, they're so nice. If you've seen some of my hauls before where I had some of these in there, um, the thing that I like about them is they're not huge, but they fit a lot of craft supplies in there. They also fit seasonal decorations. Not all seasonal decorations. Some of them are too big, but, but they do fit a lot of them in here. And when they when this gets full it's not super heavy so you know you can't lift it anymore so that's what i like about these size i've got a bunch of those and then i bought this this is just this is the a big size this one extra large 10 gallon multi-purpose tub and i got this um to put um in my son's game room downstairs it gets kind of chilly and he's got various blankets down there well to be a nice place to stick them when when he's not using them so that's what i got this for so that will do it for today i hope you've seen some things that you haven't seen before so you know what to keep an eye out for if you haven't seen my series called hitting every dollar tree in my state then subscribe so you can see some of those hauls they're a lot of fun to do i can't wait to get back on the road to hit a few more which i'm hoping to do over the holiday weekend um, my goal is to hit every Dollar Tree in the state of Iowa and figure out who's got the best ones. So far I have four that are my favorites, um, but I'm very curious to see what's, you know, what's in the other cities. This is Kim from Pink Squirrel Studios signing off for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.